Lights up space. Hello, hello, it's Angry Rants here, and this time we're finally reviewing a game I've been talking about for a while, and that's NBA 2K15. I'm finally glad I got the true endorsement deal. That's the one I've been looking for. Finally got it, signed with Adidas. If you want to buy me on PSN, it's, ang it's the Angry Man. I put it on the video once, it's uh, done, but <laughs> you may ask. What's this like? And what's the gameplay? What's the, my career is like? What's my team? I did not play my team, but I, I can tell my by looking at it. But I will go for the gameplay, my career, and my GM and my league. I will go for those only. Not my team. I don't give a shit about it. By then, let's get on to the review. Gameplay. Gameplay in this game is definitely amped up since 2K14. In 2K14, you can easily posterize people. Easily. Like, I dunked on Chris Bosch and I easily jump over to Simic Florida. I, I, if you want to go on my Facebook, look at videos, and you'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about. But, man, you had to realize that. That, and that was too easy for dunks. But for... What was it? But for the controls, like... These controls... Yeah, these controls... Uh, they're pretty much the same as 2K14, but it's a slight little edge, because now... Let me get it. Uh, unplug this little bastard. Alright, you had to press, uh, I believe, L2 and do these. I believe that one's for flashy passes, that one for the mobile bounce pass, that one for lob, and I forgot what triangles would do. Probably post up high. But but when you're playing one on one against your guy on the opponent, you feel like you got control. All the animations are on superb, and they've brought back the size ups. And yes, I played 2K12, but I'm not doing my own studio uh, rundown because. You'll see when you're shocked about this camera view. But, once you notice, and when you got full on control, sorry for the shaky can, once you realize you got full on control, you got the power in the world. Now for the next topic. Well, I'm sailing. Yeah. My career. My career mode in, in NBA 2K15 is a lot better than 2K14. We know in 2K14, it was basically like the other uh, current gen games. The other current gen, if you know what I'm talking about. But in this, it's a lot harder to get to the team. That's only if you're a newbie, a new guy into it. Just like me, I was struggling when I was playing 2K14, which was on the Wii U. But I got better at it. And it took me time to get better at that game and became super good and got to K14. Still good. And when I got the next gen, still good. This one. Uh, and if you look back to my channel, I did talk about the gameplay, like the story mode of it. Now I give you my full one. This may be close spoilers, so alert for those. Alright. You done? Alright, basically it starts off, you're in, in your house, waiting for your name to be picked, but you never got a call because it's Kylie Anderson, who got, uh, no, no, that's wrong, no, I don't get the draft right, uh, class right, but when I do, I probably do that and do my ending, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, you basically know what it's like, because it shows the player's stress. And it's needed because we know uh, 2K14 shows the excitement of the player once he gets drafted. This one, it shows his anger and stress because this he gets stressed a lot. No one heard because this, you have to play M WNBA 2K14 or 2K M WNBA 2K15 for that. But the story mode is pitch a lot, a lot of cheese, like. You're gonna get a few scripted matches, and in the first year, your first year, you're gonna have a bunch of a lot of trouble. Like I am 
other players have. Once you choose a team, you're struggling. Your team is out of the playoffs or in the playoffs if you're, if you're lucky. And it's crucial to upgrade your attributes early. And I advise you to purchase VZ because I did that play well for me because it was pain in the ass when I was playing it. I upgrade my free pointer because I found I missed a bunch of frees. And yeah. It's pretty tough, but on to the next oh for, oh for one more thing. The shoot endorsement deals is exactly the same as 2K15. If you're asking me about that, I got it covered. So, don't worry about it. And I'm with uh, Adidas, by the way. So, on to the next. Reach out, space. Now to my GM. My GM is a carryover mode from last year, which. Last year, as we know, you can actually purchase your VC and get to level 99 within one year. Now, that's not the case this year. This year, you had to earn XP, and you can grind for XP like I'm doing. I want to get a trophy of 100, well, level 100, or I get level 35, but if you need a name again, in case you skip to this part, it's the Angry Man 1223 That's my PSN name, and if you're looking for Jacob's name, it's on my friend list. Just look for the one letter Z. That's all I can say. But back to my GM. My GM is pretty much the same, but except there's a few changes. I noticed that you can change the opponent's accessories this time. Last year you could not do it. Last year you just press on something, all you had to do is view. Now this year you can actually go to their accessories and change it. Like Kobe Bryant, change it back to the elbow sleeve. Or keep it the arm sleeve. And what else I noticed is uh, that you can actually, uh, there's actually a lot more drama with the players, and including yourself, which is pretty good. And you pro I probably got, I quite need that as you progress in my GM. As you progress from my GM, you will have players asking for lowering or hiring to training intensity. And that's pain in the ass if you ask me. That's the logo. The logo. And as uh, sorry about that, my camera megabytes, uh, gigabytes were run out, so I had to write this one very quickly. Which is, go play that one if you're just bored, like I usually do. I just play in that one. So, good one. So, that's good. Last and not least, my league. The one I want to talk about, not my team. My league is probably like the return of the association that we wanted. It's the, it's the best board mode ever. But it acts like my GM with the signings and everything. But you never got warned by the owner to do this, the owner to say you had to do that, do this, do that, do that, blah, 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 blah. But you go straight forward, do as you want, please. Create the best team as possible, which is make an all time Dallas squad with Steve Nash on his prime. Get rid of the back injuries. Make him like the, the prime Steve Nash. Reduce his age. <laughs> well, no joking here. Well, I better wrap this, uh, wrap this part up as saying. It's a solid game, I should say, but it it uh, it uh, fails kind of. But once you get into the game, it's addicting, it's fun, and I've got one more thing, which is my part. Definitely a recommendation to play with friends. I play with Jacob. I play with his friend Jaron. It was a lot of fun. We oop to each other sometimes, and Jake, uh, Jacob gets all the oops. Since he's doing more, uh, since his channel's older than mine, like two years. But I, my video count is already outclassing his. But, not saying for stats. But anyway, anyway, this one's a very good game. Play it, definitely for online mode. If you like my team, go ahead. But if you have other opinions, then I just said, 
Post it down in the comments below. If you want to find me at PSN again, it's the Anger Man 1223. And have a lot of fun, guys. Shooting some baskets. And look forward to episode 6. I'm sorry I didn't do it on Monday. I had school, and school's pain he has to get perfect times. But I didn't get. But I didn't have enough time to finish this off since I got episode 6 to go. With annoying Ewoks and stuff. Yeah, after that one, I'll be back to ranting. Whatever I get. If it's about the game I played or school again. I figured doing school again because that one I made was bland. Or I could do some uh, core reviews for the episodes. Episodes only because I had to do a mashup of the later, all the episodes and the clean to lean up to seven episode, or eight episode. Probably to that episode because it gives me a lot of time. But anyway, enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Shoot some baskets. Oh. Shoot some baskets and have a day shooting. And probably the next video is Interstellar because I'm probably going to be seeing it soon. But again. Enjoy the rest of the day. Happy back, uh, happy shooting. And yeah. See you next time, folks. Peace. Oh, peace. Well, I'm sailing.